figure six shows a sketch of the curve C with the parametric equations x equals 8 sine squared t and y equals 2 sine 2t two plus 3 sine t. t is between 0 and pi over 2. That means we're in radians. So we need to make sure our calculator is in radians. I've got a d here at the moment in degrees. So shift set up angle unit number two for radian the region r as shown between four and zero and we need to give the area of r we'll show that it can be found using this integral and it's in terms of t and so usually when we integrate we're going to integrate y with respect to x if we want to change this to t so these limits are being x's as well. We need to do dx dt with respect to t. So it's going to be y times dx dt with respect to t. And I'm changing these limits. So they were in x's. They were 0 and 4. This one is staying as 0. But we need to find out the limit when x is 4. So when x is 4. Four equals eight sine squared t. So four over eight is a half. So square root a half is root two over two. And then shift sine is a quarter pi. So t is a quarter pi. So that's our limit. So that's the limit we want. So we have between a quarter pi and zero, y, which is 2 sine 2t two plus 3 sine t times the x dt. So what's the x dt? You know, x is 8 sine squared t. which can also be written as 8 times sine t squared. So when we're differentiating the chain rule, times by the power, take one off the power, and times by the bracket differentiated, sine t differentiated is cos t. So we've got 16 sine t cos t. So times 16 sine t cos t with respect to t. Now we can look at this and see hopefully some double angle formulas. So we could just expand this bracket, but we're not going to be really where we want to be. We've got these double angles, so the sine 2t here and this 16 sine t cos t can also be written as a sine 2t. And there's no sine 2t's in the answer. But we'll first step, let's change 16 sine t cos t. So our double angle formula says sine 2t to sine t cos t. So 8 sine t's, 8 sine 2t's will be 16 sine t cos t. So let's change sixteen sine t cos t into eight sine two t. Then expand the bracket. So we've got 16 sine squared 2t plus 24 sine t sine 2t. So looking at where we, were, where we want to get to, we can 
Well, we want to change this sign to T. Actually, back. Probably shouldn't have changed it so soon. We want to change the sine 2t back into 2 sine t cos t. So that will become 48 sine squared t cos t. And that's what we wanted. We've also got this 8 minus 8 cos 4t. So to get 16 sine squared, we don't want the squared. We're going to use sine squared t plus cos squared t equals 1. So if sine squared t plus cos squared t equals 1, sine squared t plus cos squared t equals 1, we've got 16 sine squared 2t's. So 16 sine squared 2t's. Plus 16 cos squared 2t's equals 16. So we can change 16 sine squared 2t to 16 minus 16 cos squared 2t. And we're still not where we want to be. We don't want a 16 squared 2t. We want a cos 4t. So we don't want, we need to use the cos double angle now. So the cos double angle, cos 2t, can either be cos squared t minus sine squared t. We don't want the one with a sine in it. We want to change sine squared t into 1 minus cos squared t, so it's 2 cos squared t minus 1. So in this case, we can change 16 cos squared 2t. So 16 undo that. So if it's 16 cos squared 2t, we're times in by 8, so it'll be minus 8 is 8 cos, and if that's a 2t, we're doubling the angle size, so two, a t goes to 2t, a 2t will be 4t. With 16 cos squared 2t, we can change into 8 cos 4t plus 8. So this should give us our final answer now. We've got a quarter pi and zero. We've got 16 minus 8 cos 40 plus 8 plus 48 sine squared t cos t respect to t. And then we've just got this final bracket. So we've got a quarter pi and zero. 16 minus the 8 gives us the 8. Minus 8 cos 4t plus 48 sine squared t cos t with respect t. And that is what we wanted. So part b. Hence, using algebraic integration, find the exact area of R. So we're integrating, and it's between 0 and pi over 0 and pi over 4, a quarter pi. So remember, A is a quarter pi. So we're just going to integrate each of the terms separately. So we've got 8, 8 cos 40. And 48 sine squared t cos t with respect to t. So 8 integrated will become 8t. The next term is a cos term. Cos integrated is sine. So it's sine 40. So 8, 
8 sine 40, but divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 4. The next term is a reverse chain rule. You could use u substitution, but we could just reverse the chain rule on this. So for the sine squared t, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and then divide by the bracket differentiated, which is sine t, no, cos t. So the bracket differentiated is cos, so the cos's cancel out. And you can check that if you differentiate this, I'll just simplify it first. You can check that if you differentiate it, you go back to what you started with. So if you times by the power, you get 48. Take one off the power, sine squared t, and then times by the bracket differentiated, and sine differentiated is cos. So you can see that these change between each other when you differentiate and integrate. So now we just need to substitute in pi over 4 and 0. I didn't add c because they would cancel out in the calculations. So we just need to work this out now. So it's going to be 8 times pi over 4 minus 2 sine pi over 4 times 4 is going to be pi plus 16 sine pi over 4 cubed. And then it's going to be take away, well, sine 0 is going to be at a 0. So this is all going to be 0. So we just need to work out what this is. That's so going to be 2 pi. Take away 2 sine pi plus 16 sine pi over 4 cubed. So let's just use the calculator. 2 pi minus 2 sine pi. That's 16 times sine pi over 4 cubed. That is not giving me an exact answer, so I'm going to have to go back and do more working out. So sine pi is 0. So that just leaves me with 2 pi plus 16 lots of sine pi over 4, which is root 2 over 2. So 16 lots of root 2 over 2 cubed. So call your cube root 2 over 2. And then times 16. So it's 2 pi plus 4 root 2.